Hey everyone, welcome to this new tutorial from Video School Online. This is in After Effects. We're going to be creating rotating text like this. You've probably seen this type of text animation in a number of commercials and TV shows nowadays. I see this type of transition all of the time. And I got a question on YouTube asking how to do this. They were actually referring to this specific Video Hive um, video itself. You'll see the sliding text right here. So that's pretty awesome and that's what we're going to be creating. It's going to end up looking just like this. So let's get straight to it. I always recommend watching in HD full screen for these tutorials. So we're going to dive into After Effects. The first thing you want to do is create a new composition. I'm going to create one that's 1920 by 1080 and 5 seconds long is perfect. 2997 frame rate and I'll just call this full text comp. And then I'm going to create another composition. So click that new composition button. I'm going to call this text one and I'm going to make it 1000 pixels by 200 pixels. So 1000 wide by 200 tall, same five seconds. Actually, we could probably make it two seconds. Let's go ahead and make it two seconds. Okay, so going back to my full text comp, the first thing we're going to do is add a little background. So let's just go layer up to layer new solid or command Y if you're on a Mac or control Y if you're on a PC. I'm just going to call this BG for background and let's pick something a little more fun. Something like a dark ish or a lightish turquoise color. All right, then go over. Let me just close some of these old tabs that I had been working with for my other test. Okay, so go ahead and open text one. And what I'm going to do is just type in some text. So let's just call this hello. Okay, so it's floating up in space. So I'm just going to drop it down. I'll just I'll just say welcome like I did in the other one. Welcome. Just put it centered right in this box is perfect. The more that it fills up the box, the better it will look, but it doesn't necessarily have to fill up this box. Now go to our full text comp and drop in our text one on top of our background. And I'm just going to lock my background so I don't mess it up at all. Then what I'm going to do with my rulers, which if you don't have rulers, go up to view and show rulers or command R and then drag out a ruler to the left side of this box and one to the right side of this box. So it's kind of hard to see, but I have these rulers at the end of the box, and this will just help me do my rotations. Next, what I'm going to do is with my text one layer selected down here, I'm going to turn on the 3D layers by the, checking this little cube column right here in this layer, and also the motion blur, which I'm also going to enable by clicking this enable motion blur button up here. Right here, around 10 frames, I'm going to press P on my keyboard for position, and then I'm going to press the position stopwatch to create a keyframe there. Then I'm going to bring up R, and I'm going to set a keyframe for my Y rotation. Then I'm going to press U to bring up both my Y rotation and position keyframes, and go back in time. Now we're going to rotate this welcome from the right, so I'm going to move it over to the right so that the center, which is where my anchor point, is right where that line is. And then I'm going to rotate it negative around 90 degrees, negative 80, until it's about off. So you can not you can barely see it. And then what I'm going to do is go to about 10 frame, one second and 10 frames. I'm going to set another keyframe here for position and Y rotation. Then I'm going to go to 20 frames, one second and 20 frames, and move it to the left so that the center is along this line, and then rotate it a positive about 80 degrees or so. So now if I play through this, you'll see the basic effect that we're getting. So that's pretty cool. It's just not as fluid as I would like. So what I'm going to do is select all of these keyframes and press F9 on my keyboard or right click keyframe assistant easy ease. Then what I'm going to do is click this little graph editor button up here. 
Let me just bring this up a bit so we can see more of our graph editor. And what this does, it allows us to animate the speed of our animations, of our keyframes, basically. So make sure that you are viewing the speed graph and not the value graph by clicking this button right here, which allows you to choose the speed graph. Now, select all of your keyframes by clicking and dragging over the keyframes. The keyframes are where these little boxes are on the graph. Then what I want to do is speed into, I want it to be very fast into the animation, but kind of slow down as it gets to its resting spot in the center. So first, actually, let me just select this keyframe right here. I'm going to zoom in just with a plus button on my keyboard. And by selecting these keyframes, which is the Y rotation and the position uh, uh, keyframe, I can select these little yellow bars and drag to the left. And what that's saying is that you can actually see the speed where it ramps up really fast and then it slows into this animation. And then same goes here. I'm going to ramp out of that so it's a little bit slower, but it's faster at the end. So now if we, let me just zoom out and we can play. I wanna make sure that these match a little bit. So I'm going to just drag these a little bit more. And then if I play through it, so that's getting to be look a little bit better. The one thing that's missing, I'm going to get out of my graph editor, is that after it rotates to the left, you still see it on the frame right here. So what I'm gonna do at this keyframe right here is put my time indicator right there and then press option right bracket which cuts this layer at that keyframe so now it disappears after that which is pretty good okay so this is the basic animation and now we're just going to duplicate this text the reason why i did it in a pre-comp is so that i can just quickly copy and paste these um, keyframes to the next text box basically so let's just take this text one duplicate it by pressing command D. Now it's called text five because I already have other text two pre comps in here, but I'm going to rename to pre text two. I'm going to open up and I'll just call this welcome everyone. And you can put whatever text you want. You could change the font if you would like. I'm using Futura. And then going back to my full text comp, drag this text down here to my layer and put it a little bit offset so not right where these keyframes start I don't want to line it up with that first keyframe I'm going to put it about three or four frames to the right now I want to turn on 3d layer first and motion blur and then what I'm going to do is copy these keyframes from my text one so selecting them dragging over them and pressing command C then selecting this layer right here my text two at the very beginning, make sure your time indicators at the very beginner, big beginning, press command V. And now if you press U, you will see the keyframes for this. And what I'm going to do is just drag this to the left, or what I can do is just set my time indicator at this last keyframe and option right bracket to cut it off. Now let me just play through this. And now we have rotating text and we could play around with the speed of this so maybe make this a little bit later one keyframe later so just nudging it to the right so it's not really overlapping with the welcome text at all something like this and that's looking pretty good now you could go into the graph editor change the speed a little bit but this is pretty much what we would be doing and we just keep duplicating these text layers and adding more and more layers depending on how many times you want text to rotate. And again, you can do this, you can rotate it opposite ways, you can rotate it um, from up above if you like, but this is the basic animation that, uh, that a lot of people use, so pretty awesome. There's one more thing that if you want to add a little bit of pop to your videos, I'm going to show you how to do it. And with this animation right here in the sample, there's a little pop in the size, so it kind of does a little bounce in with the size. And so what I would have done before I even added this text to is add this to the first text layer. And what I'm going to do is open up the scale for this layer, so press S, and just hit key, the keyframe button right here to add a keyframe. 
press U to bring up all of our keyframes. And then I'm going to go to my, my second keyframe at 10 frames and hit this keyframe button to add another keyframe. Right now, my keyframes are at 100% throughout this entire animation, so it's not going to do anything. So what I'm going to do is change this first one to like 105, for example. And now I'm going to easy ease them. So select both of them and press F9. And let's just add a little bit more. So let's do 110. So something like that's looking pretty good. I might select both of these and using the value graph, I'm going to add a little bump. So selecting this first one, I'm just going to bump it up just like so. And then let's play through that. So something like that could work. And then I would just basically duplicate this one right here and duplicate this first one right here. So it's going from 100% to 110%. And then look at the graph editor again and do a little bump like so. Again, I'm looking at the value graph and not the speed graph, but also with the speed graph, may just make it a little more of a pop, something like that. So something like that could be pretty cool. Uh, just to add a little bit more to your animation, that looks really weird because it's getting cut off. But then I would just duplicate these or copy all of these, select my text two and paste. And now if I play this through, we get a little bit more interesting animation with that little scale bump. So that's this animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any other tutorials that you want me to create for you, please let me know. And we'll just see you in another tutorial or over at videoschoolonline.com where you can find lots of great articles and premium courses on everything from After Effects, motion graphics, photography, video creation to building your own online business. Thanks for watching and have a great day.